Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make that amazing build up that you guys just saw at this beginning of the video. So, uh, obviously, what you guys are going to want to do first is grab your clip. So, in the folder, I have the clip, the velocity, the build up, and the sound effects. So, I'm going to put, just put in my clip in the timeline. And yeah, this is the clip right here. It's a Mongrel classic. And I'm just going to take my volume down a bit and basically find where he gets the kill. So, basically, where, where the shield gets cracked and uh, add a marker so what you're going to want to do is click on the clip and click this little bookmark right here and now what you're going to want to do is click on the clip and right click and click link clips this will basically make them unlink and now that you're on the marker you go 32 frames back so uh for me since i'm 53 53 minus 32 uh that would be yeah that'd be 21 that'd be 21 and uh, now split the clip, so basically you have this little section right here, and right click on that little section and make it a compound clip. Now that you have a compound clip right here, go into the fusion tab on the com compound clip, and drag in the overreddit uh, velo.setting, and this should make a really clean overreddit velocity. So uh, I'll see you guys once everything is rendered out. Alright, so now that you guys have added velocity and everything is rendered out, what you're going to want to do is delete the audio. So click on the green right here and just delete it with backspace and go into your file explorer and go into striker headshot and just drag it into the timeline and make sure it kind of lines up with the kill. So find the kill, so that should be right here, add a marker and then go to where the main like sound happens, add a marker on that and then just line it up like this. So yeah, right here. And I actually forgot to add a song, which uh, is my bad. I'm going to go and add a song right now. So I'm going to go into my downloads and I'm going to add soccer uh, right here. And I'm just going to add it. I'm going to find like the beat drop. All right, so I found the beat drop right here. I'm going to add a marker on it and make sure it lines up with the clips. So right here, I'm going to make sure the markers line up. Da Vinci has like this, like, I like how Da Vinci kind of makes all the markers magnetize to each other. So it already lines up automatically. Our right, sub velocity is really clean. It looks a bit weird since I haven't added an impact or a buildup, but it'll look amazing uh, once I add a buildup and uh, impact. So what you're going to want to do now is go 40 frames behind the kill. So go... Uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm just going to fast forward because I know you guys don't want to hear me go 40 frames back. So I'm just going to go 40 frames back right now and I'll see you guys once I'm done doing that. All right, so I'm 40 frames before the clip. And now we're going to want to do is add a marker on the timeline. And now go into the effects tab right here and drag in an adjustment clip and put it so it starts where the marker is that and then make sure it ends where the kill is at so you should have this little 40 frame adjustment clip right here and now uh go into the fusion tab and go and find uh where i have right here so uh clean build up and clean build up dot setting and you will need sapphire plugins for this tutorial so uh it should come with uh a flicker darkness and vignette and it should look like this so it's already keyframed actually so the peak of it should look like that pretty clean and it kind of gives me like a like an old vibe you know like a, from like the 1960s i don't really know how to explain it but uh all right guys so uh i have had the build up and here's how it should look like once it's fully rendered so i'm actually gonna zoom in on it for you guys so you guys can have a better look really clean uh it kind of gives me a retro vibe like i said before and uh it just looks amazing and it's super easy to do so once you guys have that i'm just gonna add a generic uh impact on it one that i gave away like two or three videos ago it's just a really similar nadav b build up uh, or impact right here best diagonal impact right here and now i'm just gonna add the orange rgb so like that and i'm just gonna render cache color output on both of those so it renders in place so i'll show you guys what everything looks like uh once i'm done rendering everything so here's how everything should look like now and it was a bit choppy i'll just play it back again and yeah that it looks super clean 
uh, really easy, and I hope you guys did enjoy this mini tutorial. It's probably a total of like five minutes, maybe four, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys do use this in your montages because it's just super clean. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.